I wear this shawl thing with arm. I don't know what it's called. I feel very Blanche Devereaux like. Just the, the clothes similar. Golden Girls. You, you don't get it. Let's just face that. You print age bracket. Not my age bracket. When I was young, like most young children, I visited the zoo with my parents. And I loved the zoo. But one day, the zoo received a new animal. And that animal was a dragon. Yup. Well, my parents called it a Komodo dragon, but I wasn't exactly thrilled to go. So all I could think about was that there was going to be this ginormous, fire-breathing, Hungarian horntail type dragon. I might not have thought of the Hungarian horntail because I don't think Harry Potter was a thing back then, or even if it was a thing, I don't think the fourth book was a thing back then. But you, you get the point. And surely they could never keep a dragon locked up. But when we arrived, I really did not want to go into that pavilion. I don't actually remember if I vocalized this fear to my parents, but I don't think I did. We walk into the building and my dad opens the door. And at this point, I am freaking out because once I enter that room, that is it. I am going to become a lovely barbecue dinner for that dragon. So we enter the pavilion. I do not see any 50 foot fire breathing dragon. All I see is greenery. I'm nervously looking around and out of the corner of my eye, I see something move. And it just looks like a big lizard. And my parents point to it and say that's the Komodo dragon. And instantly my heartbeat slows down, I stop perspiring, and I let out a small giggle of relief. Because that thing is not going to be able to eat me. Of course though, when I look at the wall, I see that it can take down and eat a water buffalo. So surely, if it can catch a water buffalo, it can catch a tiny scrawny little girl. But I trust that cement wall and it did not fail me and you might be surprised to know that I walked out of there alive. Not even a struggle. And that's the day I learned what a Komodo dragon was. Hey guys, so have you ever had a misunderstanding like that? My fear was a misplaced though because they still can eat people. Bye guys. <laughs> For those of you wondering, Golden Girls was a sitcom in the 80s. It focused on four women and they were, you know, middle-aged. One was elderly. It's a thing that I watch because it's funny and my mom really likes it so sometimes I don't have a choice. But, you know, it's good. A lot of times I really like Sophia's clothes and that's fine. If you altered them in her cardigans, it's really, really nice. I don't think hardly any of you got that, but it's okay. You should watch it. It's good, even if you're a guy. Hey, people, there's a table there. When I was young, like, <coughs> hmm. 